everyone, welcome to Shop Talk. We talk a lot on Shop Talk about pressure vacuum gauge. I use one daily, many, many times a day. I just want to show you a couple of things that I fixed here recently. They were brought to me. They'd been to another shop, both of them had. And they'd done work on it and they'd missed it. And it was a simple thing, but you need to know the basics of how to test things to really nail these so they don't come back and haunt you. Nothing more frustrating than to fix a customer's saw or a piece of equipment, send it out, and have it come back the next day with similar issues. And I want to show you a couple of things on testing here. On HD101, the characteristics of the running were would run good for a while, turn it a different way, and it would run erratic, die out. And uh, the uh, technician, previous technician, had uh, changed out the uh, carburetor and uh, checked it out and couldn't find anything really wrong with the original carburetor, but went ahead and replaced it and sent it out. And let me show you what it was. This is the, this is the fuel pickup. And watch the gauge here. And it'll hold there, but if you rotate this a little bit, you can see it's starting to leak. And what it was, of course, the guy was flipping the unit around, and it was in the right position, it would run good, and then he'd flip it on its side, and it'd starve out and die. And what it is, it's not a hole in the fuel line. What it is, is the fuel line has gotten a little soft on the nipple and you're getting leakage right there and you can see some bubbles right there quick test would have uh, shown that uh, to the technician but uh, he missed it so just be aware of stuff like that next one's a similar thing it was on a steel 44 and the uh, Characteristics of the run as described was would run but uh, then would lean out and starve out and die and uh, It had a carburetor replaced on it and some different work done to it and came back two or three times They brought it to me The test I did on it to show the customer and there's nothing quite like a good visual test to show the customer what it was I use some of this magic soap Put it in the fuel filter, and that's a steel fuel filter, of course. And watch the gauge there. Slow to return. And what you should see, after putting the magic soap in there, it bleeds down instantly. You see how it just pushes it right out. And if you were to pop this apart, you can actually see, look at all that plugage residue there. Super plugged. And of course that plugs it up and it runs lean. On the outside it looked okay. Probably the technician looked at it and said, ah, it looks fine. Anyway, there's a few things you ought to uh, look for, be aware of. Simple things can turn into major things that could have both of these could have taken out an engine You don't want to do that. So just do your testing and if you got any questions on getting one of those vacuum gauges There's the information